Hello everyone. The task here is investigating NAT operation. As a frame travels across the network, the MAC addresses may change. IP addresses can also change when a packet is forwarded by a device configured with NAT. In this activity, we will investigate what happens to IP addresses during the NAT process. Part 1. Investigate NAT operation across the internet. Step 1. Wait for the network to converge. Step 2. Generate an HTTP request from any PC in the central domain. The source IP address 102.2.0.6 is a private address and belongs to PC2, and the destination IP address 64.100.200.1 is a public address and belongs to the edge router on branch server side. The source IP address 64.100.100.3 is a public address and belongs to R2, and the destination IP address 64.100.200.1 belongs to R4. The source IP address 64.100.100.3 belongs to R2, and the destination IP address 172.16.0.3 is a private address and belongs to branch server. The source TCP port is 1025 and the destination TCP port is 80. The inside local IP address is reserved for private use. Private addresses didn't cross the internet. Part 2. Investigate NAT operation across the internet. Step 1. Generate an HTTP request from any computer in the home office.
The inbound source IP address 192.168.0.101 is a private address and belongs to Home Desktop. And the outbound source IP address 64.104.223.2 is a public address and belongs to Router WRS. The inbound and an outbound destination IP address 64.100.100.2 belongs to R2. The source IP address 64.104.223.2 belongs to router WRS. And the destination IP address 10.10.10.2 belongs to central server. All of the web pages appeared in the browsers. Part 3. Conduct further investigations. The NAT translation tables grow. Router WRS does not have a pool of addresses. This how the computers in the classroom connect to the internet. NAT use four columns of addresses and ports to represent four types of NAT address. Inside local address, inside global address, outside local address and outside global address. That's all. Thank you for watching.